hi there i just finished speaking uh, about pop-up stores from storytelling to story living at this year's retail focus forum it was an interesting uh, talk because it got me thinking about the importance that we should highlight on the fact that stores are not physical anymore and they have become living spaces this being said if retailers don't design their stores to take into account the importance of allowing customers to emerge and to immerse into a different experience why should they expect that these customers come into the store in the first place now i'm not the only one talking about this naturally since i'm very much interested in pop-up stores and pop-up retail i would be putting forward the importance of designing an immersive and an engaging pop-up retail environment however anytime a design uh, is happening uh, for a physical format brands and retailers should be taking into consideration all of that design process from a customer centric point of view right if customers are not able to go into that space to feel something different to experience to experiment and to give their opinion whilst in the store or right uh, after that visit to the store why even bother um, going there in the first place the design of, of an experience starts with designing a retail environment it's really crucial and important to keep that investment in everything related to spaces designing beautiful spaces but putting all of that one level up into making that space an immersive one it is within that space that customers will be engaging taking action taking part of the location and what we uh, are calling this now is letting our consumers become the heroes of their experience, the protagonists. So in this case, the customer will no longer be the spectator watching what's happening inside the store. He would be participating in, in the act. He would be himself acting um, whilst he is in the store. It's a beautiful thing uh, to come to that realization and understanding in retail. It's beautiful to give our customers part of the experience and the exchange that we want to have with them. If we are really authentic and transparent, if we are brands that are looking forward to creating uh, and knitting a beautiful connection with our customers, we should act upon that and we should deliver the spaces that allow our customers to live that experience and to grow with us um, to actually get to experience each and every bit of our story through the physical store and through any physical representation that we are providing them with. Another question that we raised today is why our retail spaces are dying why our high street is dying why the shopping mall is becoming very dull we have been inviting landlords and retailers to think and rethink the ways they are handling or managing the physical retail assets there has been a way that this capital was managed beforehand but now it has become irrelevant many concepts are inviting retailers to think that physical retail should be occupied only when it's beneficial to the brand if you're selling a seasonal product why exist an entire year where your product sells only a couple of months throughout that year or during that period like we have to think that our physical representation or the fact that we are happening to be represented physically needs to be really efficient and effective what happens throughout the year is a balancing act between those profitable days and those less profitable days. But if I can only happen to be during those profitable days on the high street or in a physical store or a pop-up store, why should I be present uh, anytime else? This being said, the brand could be going to locations where it is most relevant throughout that time of the year or maybe investing in selling online during its off-peak season and so on. The omnichannel contacts have given us many opportunities to best manage our channels, our touch points and our brand in a way that uh, best meets its needs. So why aren't retailers uh, doing that at all? 
Concepts like Souk today are offering customers and retailers with a lot of flexibility, offering them the opportunity to be uh, present on the high street from time to time or during the times that are best relevant to their product, to their brand and uh, naturally to consumers. So this is a concept that we should be thinking about. Moreover, when we're talking about the high street, we have discovered many uh, stores that have become themselves like dead uh, capital, dead entities. If we want to revive these stores, how should we re revive them? Should we be thinking of getting brands to invest in them in the traditional way that they used to? Or should we redirect, reorient our thoughts into creating spaces or environments that are not only retail oriented but community oriented? Are customers today willing to go to the high street to purchase a product that they are already purchasing online and receiving at their homes, at the convenience of their homes, their times, their schedules? If we want people to do an effort to come and meet us, we should give them a reason to do so. Therefore, our retail environments should be thought or redirected to meeting today's uh, customers' needs, but also their lifestyle, their current lifestyle and to meet with all of the things that have evolved throughout the years. And finally, to conclude, the most important idea that we should take away is the extent to which developing a retail store should be itself an asset. Even if it is a store or a space or a pop-up that has been developed for a specific brand, to meet a specific objective, we need to know how we stretch the benefit of that action and how much we can take advantage of it. So a pop-up store or a store that is designed today could be very much engaging, creating a beautiful scene. That scene uh, could be an Instagrammable scene as we might have uh, read or heard about the term, but it also could be a setup to do a photo shoot of the brand, to test the brand, uh, to get live uh, feedback uh, about the product to help customers see the product um, and maybe see it in action or themselves using the product in situ. Voting for the products that best fits with their lifestyle, meet their needs and then telling the retailer which ones we should uh, be putting up front. Um, maybe it's also a space or a place that we should take advantage of to come and meet our audience, to talk to them to develop kinds of live seminars or live talks on the hour with people from the brand, people around the brand and customers who love the brand. These are things that we should be taking advantage of today because we already invested in the setup. Let's take that note a little bit further and take advantage of everything else that the setup could offer to us. The experience should not be over and wrapped up as soon as the pop-up or the store moves elsewhere. We should also be thinking of a line of continuity, a transition between that moment onto another moment. Social media is a great tool uh, that helps us do this. Let's create content, let's create some kind of memorabilia uh, that customers would keep in their minds, in their hearts, and if we have developed products for that, would keep them uh, at their at their homes or into, into in, in their in their bags. Um, it's important for us to conclude, it's important for us to think of new ways of managing our retail spaces. If anything uh, is learned today, um, it is the willingness of brands to rethink their stores, their business models in ways that best meets customers and customers' needs. Moreover, in ways that could generate more excitement uh, in customers' lives and make brands part of their lives. I hope that um, these uh, info were beneficial and helpful. I will be uh, doing another wrap up on this beautiful um, retail focus forum and I will be sharing the information with you as soon as I share it uh, online. Thank you.